In this video trailer, we're going to look at the kicker pattern. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a very warm welcome to you. All right, so what is the kicker pattern? Specifically the kicker pattern from a bullish kicker pattern, a candlestick pattern that we can utilize as either a signal or potentially a filter that says, okay, you know what, the tide is changing. Now we've got more demand in as opposed to supply. Let's look for an opportunity after this. But if we look at it in traditional sense and how it's kind of meant to be traded, we can look at those rules and come up with kind of what time frames and stuff is on later in the video. So hang around for that. Before we carry on, I just want to say thank you guys for your support. If you are subscribing to the channel, if you are commenting, if you are liking the videos, it's much appreciated and I'm pleased that you guys are enjoying it. Anyway, let's get into this pattern. So the kicker pattern is this, bang, 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 three down candles. Okay, what happens, what's happened subsequently is doesn't really matter so much, but of course we probably want to see um, either a, a not an aggressive downtrend as such, but, but to be fair, this does work in either. I'm normally hedge my bets a little bit, if you've seen before when I've talked about these reversals, because I'm like, okay, be very careful about taking these in a brutal downtrend. It's a little bit different because generally we've got a bit of a catalyst. So without jumping ahead of myself, I would say you're okay on a downtrend. Of course, if you're a pullback and an uptrend, even better, you've got some sort of reason the wind behind you, the bias is slightly in your favor, then good. But I still think you're okay in a downtrend. Anyway, Anyway, what we're looking for is you know a down move. This is the kind of primary area as you probably would have guessed. And the most important part of this kicker pattern, guys, is this gap here. Okay, the price should have closed at lows and it should now gap above the high of the previous candle. So not just above the close, the close would be here on a yellow uh, uh, red candle and it would gap up and that should be a gap. This is a gap outside of the range to the upside. So that's the important first criteria of this kicker pattern. And then we need to see a good strong move. What we don't want to see is any move down. Now listen, if it's a couple of ticks or a couple of cents and it's very, very brief at the beginning, just with some noise, then fine. There's no reason not to take it. But what you don't want to see is any significant work done to fill the gap. You want super bullish. So you want it to gap up and then run pretty, pretty quickly in the, in the direction of the gap, i.e. gap up and then run. So on a kind of intraday basis, it would look like this, wouldn't it? There's our close. Uh, we gap up and then immediately we're off. Now, if it just does a little tickle, like I said, and then goes, I wouldn't not take it because of that, but you get the idea. Let it put it into perspective. You guys know the score. Uh, we can't be too strict with these kind of things, but at the same time, we don't want to see it kind of tickling down and messing around doing double bottoms and stuff. You get the point. So it's that and it's closing at high. So how would we take this? Well, theoretically, we want to take it on the close here. So on the close, there's our long entry and we're gonna have our stop below that. Now, that's often, quite um, significant. You know, that risk is probably a little bit too much, right? It's, you know, especially if it's a catalyst, because very often this is gonna be caused by a catalyst. To get that aggressive gap and drive, maybe it's earnings, maybe it's news, maybe it's something that's positive for the company, or whatever it may be, and it's going to be, you know, quite a significant move. So you gotta be careful about that risk order ratio. You could then, this is why I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the video, you could use the beginning of the pattern and use it as a precursor and say, okay, well, we've gapped up, uh, we haven't filled the gap, we're halfway through the day and we're holding at highs. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll jump the gun a bit and sometimes I'm in favor of this, sometimes I'm not. This time I'd be like, okay, maybe you could jump the gun a bit. Maybe you could use an intraday pattern to get on board this, tighten that stop a little bit and then trade it and look to hold into the close for maybe a two or three, four day move if you're that way inclined. Um, or of course, when you see this at the open, you trade it early on and you say, well, I'm gonna trade on an unexpectation that's a kicker pattern, i.e. we've got the gap up, it's a reasonable gap up, the first 15 minutes hasn't pushed back into the gap, I'll just buy an opening range breakout of the first 15 minutes which is likely to be a strong green candle. So you can start to mesh some of the strategies together and utilize the positive expectancy of this type of thing in conjunction with something else to give you like a stack those layers of edge that we talk about. And by the way, it's called a kicker pattern because I believe it's like it's a football, imagine a football sitting there and someone kicks it, you get that initial jump uh, off the ground and then there is you're going to continue on and it's going to go higher and higher until it falls down again and the only trick you've got then is to try and time your exit if you're day trading of course 
you'd probably be a little bit tighter as it comes to day three, if you're swing trading it. Maybe you've kind of done some research in the broader time frame, is suggesting a four or five day run, four or five week run, or even you think it could be, depending on what the price action is beforehand, maybe the turn of an earning cycle, maybe an earning cycle is starting to change. Maybe it's now matured into something a little bit more interesting. And that could be literally the low for the next quarter. Uh, we get these things, don't we, from time to time, guys. Right now, that's a kicker pattern. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, appreciate it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for your subscription and support. Take care. Bye-bye.